I got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages. Hoo wee! This one's got glitter all over it. Hmm. Uh, I got an Amazon Prime package. I'll open that first. little power supply that sits on my desk. It's got three USB ports and um, two receptacles. Oops, knocking my lights down. But there was a lightning deal, so I bought another one. This one's a little different. Hope Maybe it'll take up less space, I'm hoping. This is a uh, LSJSVER. Just a no-name, rebranded. Says ROHS. Got a nice little silk satin bag. Oh, that is cool. It does take up a lot less space. It's even got a a wrap for it. Where is the thing? I don't know what the button's for. Maybe you can turn your USB ports on and off? Let's find out. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any way to mount it. I'd have to make a bracket for it. Comes up the corners, I guess. Okay, so there's a relay in there. Um, let's see, what can we test? Assuming the relay is for the Yeah, so apparently the relay turns your USB ports on and off. Interesting. I didn't even read it when I looked it up. When I bought it, I didn't even look at the uh I guess I could read the instructions, maybe? Oh, I got stuck in right. Features. Um, ABS, 2.36 by 2.36 by 2.28, wire length 59 inches, 110 to 240, 10 amp, 5 volt, 3 amp. I don't know if that's shared or if you can switch LED indicator, three USB ports, three outlets, and a switch in this little cube. Uh, intelligent USB charging, adjust the current maximally, meet the charging need, make charging fast without harming your device. I'll try plugging up my uh, laptop into this and see how much it actually can pull. It doesn't say anything about what the button does. Oh well. Pretty sure the button turns the USB ports on and off. I don't think it turns the power outlets on and off. Let's... I can test that. Alright, so... It does. It does turn the AC outlets on. And it's probably going to turn the, US, the whole unit on and off. Let's get a... What do I have in here? Which... 
forget how many amps this was. I think this is only two amps. Four point eight nine volts. Well, that's not good. That's at only an amp. 1.86 amps, 4.92 volts. Let's take the load out of there and see if it... No, voltage is still low, 4.92. I'll test it with my meter to make sure, but it's pretty low. It's uh, not very good. With no load, it's, poor, it's only... have a charge on it. Yeah, turns the whole unit on and off. Kind of cool. Might not be what you want. Let's see if it turns them all off. Yeah, switches all three outlets. Be cool if one of the outlets stayed on. Oh well. Kind of cool. Kind of like it. I like the shape of it. Should stay out of the way. Let me just put that over there for now. All right, next. Wall sticker. <laughs> All right. Not a wall sticker. This is an ESP8266, ESP12S. The S does not have the flash breakout pins, and it has a thermal pad. Uh, it's got supposed to have some RF and antenna improvements, and it's also supposed to have internal pull-up resistors for your four GPIOs for boot mode boot flash mode. So I'm excited to try that. I'll put that on my board. I don't have to put four resistors on. Kind of cool. I did read it. There's a problem with reset. There's a there's a resistor on the reset line or not. A, there's something different about the reset line and it requires a larger uh, different kind of um, reset pulse. Maybe that's fixed, I don't know. 200 pieces, high quality SMD 1N4148 WT. These are uh, maybe diodes, of course. These are, uh, I think these are SOD 323, or these, oh, these look like they might be 523s, the tiny, tiny ones. I'll have to double check. Those do look really small. I don't know how many are in there. A lot. Maybe a hundred. Display screen. Now, this is a OLED module, or maybe it's a, I think this is the larger IPS modules. Even the pins get stuck in there, you can't get them out. Uh, yes, this is a large IPS. I have the oh, the small uh, 0.96 IPSs. These is uh, well, I think it's 160 by 28, something like that. 128 by 160, or oh, I think it's 160 by 64. This is uh, 240 by 240. Nice and square. This will be good for gauges and dials. Uh, this should be really cool. Hopefully it works. It looks looks okay. I like they put that slot in there to run the to run it through. I want to get this working to, tomorrow probably. Excited about that. 
This is five fifty pieces, piece seven five B one diameter one point oh two. I don't know. Pogo pins. I can almost tell by the diameter. These are a little bigger. These are spear tipped. I don't, I don't know why I got spear tipped. Hmm. Interesting. The only pogo pins I have are little tiny, tiny ones. They're half a millimeter or something crazy tiny size. Maybe they're one milliliter. I think, millimeter. I think these are. What did it say? 1.02 millimeter. So. I'll tell you little spear pogo pins. These will make good for probes and stuff. Maybe that's why I bought them for probes. To make SD probes. Cable accessory. Looks like another module or something. Uh, this is a CH340G. USB UART serial converter. Neat. Uh, this will work with my boards. It's got a little programming header on there. I don't know what the pinout is. I doubt it matches mine, but this would be good for programming. It's uh, there's only a couple of them. There's only a couple of these uh. UART modules that have micro as USB. There's only about two that I found. Actually, there's three. Um, I haven't gotten the other one yet, but I have both this kind and So now I have a CH340, and I have this is the other kind I have is a CP2102. These are nice because it comes with a little female header. So if these are if I can get these cheap enough, they'd be good to make a standard programming header, in, uh, and I'll I can maybe um, provide these to program and just use this header. I have to redo my boards to match this header, but it just slides right on there. So that would be nice. Next, cable accessory. Uh, this looks like to be uh, two different things. Oh, these are really small JST connectors, surface mount, and the pigtails. These are the super micro JSTs. I thought those would be nice to have to run tiny headers off your board or for lithium batteries and stuff like that. I think I bought a battery that was that that had that uh, connector on it. I'm not sure, I already I already cut it off and just rewired it because I didn't have any of those at the time. Next, mini AT Tiny 85 micro USB development board. I don't remember ordering a dev board. Oh yeah, it's a programmer. Uh, AT Tiny Dip Package Programmer. Hmm. Apparent, apparently, uh, it doesn't have any software on it, so the chip probably has to have a bootloader, uh, micronucleus or whatever, a USB bootloader. I don't know what all these pins are for. They're not. Oh, there they are. 
Oh, so you can, this is actually a programmer and a breakout. Uh, so you can actually use this as a dev kit. Oh, two little matching blackboards. Next is a Probe X1. Oh, sweet. I was just talking about these this morning. These are larger surface mount pogo pins. I have so I'll take these out and show you. In fact, I'll show you these other ones too. Get one of these out too. light up here about over here what about that light it's gonna be bluish but whatever no it's not gonna work I'll just bring the brightness up no it's not gonna work either so this is those tiny little pogo pins I had, and I just bought these uh, These ones right here, they're much bigger. So those will be able to program something that's got headers uh, soldered on it. I uh, should be able to. And this is just a the spear tip one. Ooh, that's sharp. Let's see how springy this one is. Nice, very nice. These little ones are barely. They work though. All right, one more. Module. Oh, these are look like uh, I think these are IR receivers. I was planning on making some IR blasters, or yeah, that's what these are, IR receivers. I was going to make some IR blasters, so in order to make that, uh, make one, I needed to get an IR receiver, so a receiver, you know, you need an IR receiver so you can clone the codes of whatever you're trying to, you know, trying to copy. So that should be fun. In fact, um... I was hoping with these boards, they take a they have a transistor driver for a piezo buzzer, but I put a header in there so I can easily add an IR blast uh, an IR LED and use that to blast um, IR command you know IR um, controls instead of sound. If you wanted to use this to control like a as a wireless. IR blaster for controlling stuff. Um, and there's a couple more things you can drive with just the transistor. Um, that should be, you can probably just throw on there. Little, uh, little, little solenoid or um, different kinds of stuff. Instead of a, instead of piezo. Instead of sound. So that's it for now. Till next time. I just threw the trash out and this was inside of a package stuck to the label. Another one. Check your bags before you throw them in the trash.